Um, it's being brought to you by Crisp Excel Training and Consulting. Uh, we are corporate and individual trainers on advanced Excel, HR analytics, project management, and Office 365, and also consultants on that. Uh, these are our partners uh, in Kenya and also outside Kenya. So today I'm the one who is presenting. My name is Chris Pumwangi. I'm a certified Microsoft expert and an MVP. Uh, my area of um, interest is automation, business intelligence solutions, and mentoring. This, web this webinar is part of uh, the larger course that I offer. It's called Mastering Advanced uh, Logic Functions. And if you have downloaded that workbook, we go through with you all those uh, solutions and all those questions on that workbook. Today, we may not be able to cover all that because it's just uh, one hour. So if you're interested, I'll send you and then we can have a session with you. Um, it's also part of my book. My new book is called Excel with Power Query and uh, Chat GPT. Um, so the topic of today is uh, logic and logical functions in Excel. This is um, the bedrock of Excel. If you don't understand logic and logical functions in Excel, then you struggle through with Excel and uh, at some point you may even give up on Excel and saying that it's too hard and all that, but it all narrows down to the logic and logical functions in Excel. So to save, um, time, I'll go straight, let me start sharing the, so um, a logical test in Excel uh, uses comparison of uh, operators to evaluate whether a condition or conditions are true and false. So the basis of all analysis is uh, to make a decision and the decision is only based on two results. Are you going to take a decision or not? And the, and, and um, what will determine uh, you to, uh, whether you're going to make a decision or not, it will be based on the uh, the test that you are going to do. So uh, that is what is called a logical test. It's a test in Excel that will resort to either two, only two uh, conditions, that is a true and a false. So for you to make uh, a logical test, we have a um, um, criterion operators. So we are going to look at, uh, if you have only one criterion, how are you going to do? Uh, that is a single condition, and if you have multiple conditions, that's a criteria. Uh, what what operators are you going to use? Okay. Okay. Copy. He okay. tell you what to use the formula. How are you? Sorry. Use so your Excel copy the many formulas are there. So today we are learning this formula as all. Well. No, no, we are not going to go through all those formulas. It's that, that's a very, um, that's a full course. So I'm just going to show you the um, logic and logical Excel. We'll see how far we can be able to cover today. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Um, so um, the first thing that you need to know when you are doing a logical test is uh, how to use comparison operators, yeah? So if you have only one single condition that you are testing, you use uh, these uh, criterion operators. If you have multiple conditions that you are checking, we use these formulas, but they also work as uh, operators for now. I'll show you how they do. So for example, if you are going to, uh, I have, if you go to sheet number two, um, and you've been asked to uh, check if true or false. Check if the um, purchase and delivery was done on the same date. So these are our criterion operators. This is the equal to, and it checks if two values, whether it's a text, a numeric, a Boolean, or date are equal. Okay, so you can check um, uh, uh, whether two, two dates are equal or whether two texts are equal or whether two um, numbers are equal. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you are being asked to check whether the purchase and the delivery was done on the same day, cell starts with an equal. So you say equals is the purchase date equals to the delivery date. Just that. 
true. This is true because you see this is uh, 12 and this is 12. And then uh, this is true, but the others are false. Okay. So that is how to use the uh, equal comparison operator. We can do the same for um, the not equal to. So there's the equal to and the not equal to. Um, so the next one you have been asked is the approver and the initiator. Check if the, the approver and initiator are the same. So you can check if the, in, if the initiator is not equal to the approver. So let, let's do that and say uh, it's equal to the initiator. And you can see this is a text. So I'm able to compare from one text, whether one text is not equal to the other text. So is the initiator not equal to um, the purchaser? OK. So this is the only place where the initiator and the purchaser are the same. Because what I'm checking is, is the initiator not equal to um, uh, the approver, sorry, yeah. So um, greater than, it compares only numerical values. So you can do the same with text uh, and, and Boolean, but you can do the same with uh, dates because a date is just a numeric value. The less than, the greater than or equal to, this is where I see most of um, people mess, where you tend to start with the equal to instead of greater than. So whenever you are using this uh, condition um, comparison operator, you have to start with the greater than or equal to. And let's do a test. Um, the question here is uh, check if the sales price is greater or equal to the purchase price. So what you do is that um, click on the sales price and then you have to say is it greater to or equal to um, the purchase price. So remember you always need you always have to start with greater and then equals not the other way around. If you try to say um, is the sales price equals to or greater than um, that doesn't work. Okay. So remember, it's always greater than or equal to. So the other kind of uh, comparison of parameter that we use is checking if the content, something to check on, on the content of the cell. Is the cell empty? Yeah. So it's equal to blank. That means that the cell is empty. Now we want to check there are some cells that are missing uh, the purchase price. So purchase. Yeah, can you check if the purchase price is missing? So what we do is that we say equals uh, purchase price, and then you say equals blank. Blank is double quote, double quote. There's no space in between. And you can see that is true. So the other, the other way of checking the content of the cell is using the information functions. Remember, we are still at uh, comparison operators. Because we want to, um, comparison operators are the biggest part of a logical test. Okay. So, what are information functions? If you want to see all the information functions, you just need to say equals and then you type is. All these are information functions. And these information functions can be used to uh, as comparison operators. And I'm going to show you uh, right now. Um, so not here. Okay, here. Okay, on column P, we are being asked, can you check if the discount is a number? So this some looks like a number, some don't, but you want to know what is a number and what is a text. So because now we are checking the content of that cell, we use the is number. Is number, just asking you for a value. So insert your file, you close your um, bracket. So when you autofill, it tells you the first one is looks like a number, but it's not a number. This is what is called a text number in Excel. Uh, the second one is a number. So when you come to this uh, error, it tells you this is not a number. This is a number. 
So information functions can be used as comparison operators also. Uh, the second one, another uh, way of, is if you want to check um, if the cell content is an error. So what we do is say uh, is error. And there's only one cell that contains an error. Also, uh, you can also use the exact function to check uh, for case sensitivity. Um, and I don't have a, a, an example on that, but let me show you how to use the. Um, if I have furniture and furniture, and I want to know is is the text that is here and the text that is here are they the same? Are they the same in terms of case sensitive? I can use the exact function, and I say is text one the same as text two, and it will tell me it's false because although they they look the same, if you use the equal sign. The equal sign will tell you that this text is the same as this text. Yeah, but when you use the exact function, it tells you that they are different in terms of case sensitivity. One is an upper case, the other one is a lower case. So if you ever need to do a case sensitive uh, logical test, you use an exact function. So is there a question or news on when on checking uh, for a single condition? Uh, if there's no question, then let's see. What if you have more than one condition that you want to check before you make uh, a decision on whether to proceed on either way of uh, your decision? So now, you have this data and you are being asked, uh, Check if true, the purchase price is missing and the approver and the initiator are the same. You see, now you have more than one condition that you are checking. So your logical test uh, involves now criteria. It's not just a criterion, you have uh, a, a number of criteria, okay? So these, if you have multiple uh, conditions that you are checking, these are the three functions that we use. We use the AND, which uh, can check up to, uh, if I'm not wrong, 255 conditions. And the only time that AND function returns are true is if all conditions are true. You need to um, uh, remember that. All checks if at least one of the condition is true, the all function returns uh, are true. And then the X all checks if it's an odd number uh, of, if an odd number of the specified tests are true, that's the only time the returns are true. So let's see an example. So is the purchase price missing and approval and initiator are the same? So like uh, what we did with the others, we start with the and, um, uh, and sign, then we say and, yeah. So AND asks you, post your logical test one, logical test two, and you can do this up to over 200 uh, logical tests. So what we are looking for is that we are looking for is the purchase price missing. So we need to come to the purchase price and say, um, is this purchase price equals to blank? Okay, comma, and then we get to uh, logic test two, because now we, are, we have so many things that we want to test and we are being asked and, and the approver and the initiator are the same. So is the approver equals to the initiator? Or is the initiator equals to the approver? It doesn't matter as long as uh, it's an equal sign. So those are the only two tests. Remember we can do uh, over 200 tests, but for now we only want to check um, this two conditions, so false. Um, so this is the only place where we have met 
everything. Okay. So why is it Chris true? Could you yes. Could you ask uh, Lalit to mute, please? Uh, Lalit, if you can mute yourself. Okay. Yeah. So this is the only place that um, um, those tests are being met. So you see uh, the purchase price is blank and the initiator and the approver are the same. Everywhere else is false. And uh, we, can, we can test with this. If I make uh, the initiator, the purchase, uh, the approver, you can see that is also true. Okay. So if you have multiple conditions, um, you cannot use these uh, comparison operators. You have to use these functions to check for multiple conditions. Okay. So the other thing that uh, we need to check is uh, check if the approver is Calvin and the purchase and the delivery done uh, on the same date. So the same thing, uh, I don't know whether we have time. So uh, now that you have downloaded this uh, workbook, try to do the same and then you do with the and function, okay? So um, I have some examples here. So there are some people who have been paid is, uh, from first payment to the fourth payment. And you have been asked, um, check if, they were paid at least once. So these are the amounts that were paid and you want to check if they are paid once. So if you want to see if they are paid at least one time, the comparison operator that you use is the all function. It's a criteria uh, comparison operator. So uh, how you do that, you come, you say equals all. So you can see uh, the pattern here is that uh, if there's a number, then you can be sure that, or if it is not blank, you can be sure that that person was paid. So we can come and check the first payment run, uh, is it a blank? Then you move to the uh, second logical test. The second payment run, is it equals to a blank? Remember, if it is not equal to a blank, that means that they were paid. Uh, the third payment run or set equals to a blank. And then the fourth, uh, is it not equals to a blank. So this person was paid at least once. So if you fill it down, this person was not paid at all. So at least this person was paid at least once. Um, this person was also paid at least once, but the others, as you can see, where a person was not paid at all, is equals to a false, okay? So that's how you use the, um, the all uh, function to check for multiple conditions, okay? So now, uh, Let's use this. Let's use a, a, a logical test. Now, th this is this is everything to do with logic in Excel. You use uh, comparison operators, and then there's a single for single condition, and then for multiple condition, and then remember, it, it it returns a true or a false. A true in Excel or a false in Excel is equals to zero, and a true is anything else than a zero. Okay, so one of the functions that uses this kind of a logical test is the if function. So if you go to this worksheet on the um, if function, so there are some simple tests that you are supposed to do and you need to use the if function. So you have all this data, uh, your sales data, and you have been asked, that you can only assign priority one 
parking to uh, if the customer belongs to the Naifas supermarket, then you, you assign them priority one parking. And if the other person, if the other customer, irrespective of uh, where they are at, you need to assign them priority two parking. So how you do that, you can do that with the if function. And the if function is a, a simple function. If you can just say if, as you can see, the first, uh, the first, the first thing it asks you is a logical test. And whatever we have been uh, looking at so far is a logical test. If you know how to create a logical test, then you are able to master the if function. So what's the logical test? A logical test is any test that results into true or false. So we need to check is our customer equals to NIFAS because that's what we need to do to assign them priority one uh, parking. So you come, you click on the customer, and you say, is the customer equals to? Remember when you are writing a text inside a function, you need to enclose it with uh, double quotes. So I say, um, I first. So that's the first part of uh, the if function, logical test. And then it asks you if your logical test is true, the result of your logical test is true, what do you want to do? Value is true, I want one. And then you put a comma and then it just asks you, uh, if the result of your logical test is false, what do you want to do? I want to put a two. Okay. So if you out of fill, you can see only places where your customer, the resource of your logical test is true, is being given a one, yeah? So this is a very, very simple if function. Do your logical test, and that's why you need to know how to create logical tests using comparison operators, value if true, value if false. For a lack of time, I'll leave you to do uh, this as part of your uh, testing. So now we'll skip these two and go to what if you have multiple conditions? What if you have multiple conditions? Remember what we said uh, at the beginning that in case you have multiple conditions, you need to use the AND, the OR, or the X OR functions. Okay? So now we want to use the IF. And so now you, uh, your manager comes and tells you that uh, priority one parking is for, or let me do something else. Uh, um, for any person who is in the region cost and the sales are above 7,000, give them a discount. And then any other person, you should not give them a discount. So now you have to check two places. You have to, uh, you have two conditions. You need to check if, uh, the region is the coast province and uh, the sales are above 7,000, okay? So now what you need to do, remember we are using the, for our logical test, we are using the AND function. So we can come and say if, what's our, what's, what, what conditions are we checking? We want to check if uh, the region is equals to coast. What other conditions are we checking? We need to check if the sales are above 7,000. So you need to come to total sales and say, are they above 7,000? So remember this is our logical test. And the logical test, we are because since it's a multiple conditions, we are using the AND function, okay? So what are we supposed to do if somebody missed the two conditions? Then we need to do uh, give them a discount. Uh, if the value is false, no discount.
So you can see this is the first person who has met the two conditions. The region is actually cost, and then the total sales are 10,000, so they are above the required 7,000. Okay. So if, uh, if you want to see whether that is true, this person has sales of 6,000. So if I change the region to cost, he doesn't still qualify for a discount because um, uh, the sales are below the 7,000. And the earn function requires you to have the two tests uh, to be true, okay? So I will skip uh, that. If you don't know how to, if you, uh, uh, there are some functions that do not allow you to use the and function, and that's why you use the asterisk. Uh, but I'll skip that for this session. If you want to have to learn more. So uh, for example, let's do um, this uh, using if all. You are being told that the shipping cost for <coughs> Sorry, the shipping cost for uh, vanilla yogurt or any, any if if you if you um, if you if your product is vanilla yogurt or your crates are above uh, ten, then you need to pay ten percent as the shipping cost. Then anything else is um, anything else is uh, two percent. Okay, <coughs> so how you do that is that uh, you start with your if function. So you start with your if function. And then you say, since we are testing for two, uh, two conditions, we can be say all. So what's the first condition is the, the product. Is this product equals to vanilla yogurt? And we need to ensure that um, absolute reference is applied. And then the crate. Remember, since we are using all, we need to check also uh, the crate. The crates are equals to um, anything that is over than 10, so we come and say anything that is greater to, you don't have to key in, um, write your criteria here, you can be able to reference it, okay? So this is the best thing about uh, the if function is, or your value is true, you can write another function on it. So we need to calculate 10% of sales. So if the, you either meet one of the conditions since we are using the all logic, you need to say 10%, 10% of what? 10% of the sales, uh, sorry, 10% uh, times, the sales, else you need to be charged 2%. So it's 2% times um, the total sales. So you can see, um, let's see somebody who has met this sale vanilla yogurt, this has um, vanilla yogurt, although the, 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 the crates are less than 10, the product is vanilla yogurt, and that's why the shipping cost, as you can see, is 10% of the sales, okay? So is there any questions so far before we proceed? Any question? Okay. Um, I, Crispo, I have a question. Yes. There's that set N2 from the, though I've not checked on my workbook, but I can't see where it is locked, the N2, and then uh, I think the cell which you have locked N2. Yes, N3. Oh, yeah, the N, N2, yes. 
you kindly just click on it. Okay. Or oh, where do you want me to click? Hello. I, I I see it now. I see. I've seen it. I've seen it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so I, I applied an absolute reference. So you can do that using the uh, shortcut F4. So that uh, actually, four, yeah. When you're, yeah. Yeah. When you are scrolling down, it will always reference to N2 and N3. So that so that it doesn't move. It's locked. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Thank yes, you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So now um, I can see time is not on our side. So uh, if you don't use the all functions, there are some like the filter function does not allow you to use the um, the all function. You not does not allow you to nest the all function. And if you are testing more than one condition using the all function, you can still do that by using the um, the plus um, the plus sign. Yeah, but Again, because of time, I will skip. The, still use the and and the all to do uh, some a bit complex um, uh, logical test. For example, uh, we have been asked that now priority one parking. Let me do the priority one parking. Priority one parking is for knife for uh, either knifers or car four. So if you are a customer. Uh, if you are the car four or NIFAS customer and you are in the Eastern region, then that's the only part, that's the only time you qualify for priority one parking. So now you need to test two conditions on the customer side and one condition on the region side. So these are related differently, and I'll show you how to test them. So you again, you start with your if. So your logical test, this is the crux of everything. This is the core of uh, your uh, your logical functions. So I want to test, um, is my customer NIFAS or CAR4? Okay, so I'll start with the all. Uh, is this customer equals to that then I uh, absolute reference or are they equals to that? Um, yeah, so now that's the first part. Right one parking for nine parts of our four, but now we need to check are they in the eastern region? So now. I need to come and stay and because and if the only people who are getting priority one parking is if you are first logical test, you either belong to uh, NIFAS or CAFO. And then the second logical test is you need to be in the Eastern region. So if you if you are a customer, if you're either of these customers, but you are not in the Eastern region, then you don't get the priority one parking. So that's why we have put the and in front of the all. So we come and say, uh, and then the region is equals to Eastern um, function and four. So now uh, value is true one, uh, else two. So out of field, and then this is the first person. See why this person is true? This person, um, this uh, transaction is for a customer in Carrefour and Eastern Region. So you can see there are other um, uh, there are, there were other customers. For example, why why was this uh, why is this false? This is false because although the region is the Eastern. It does not meet the second criteria, which is the customer has to belong to either of the two supermarkets. Yeah. And then why is this uh, false? Although the customer is among the required customer, 
they, they are belonging into the wrong region. So you can create a complex um, logical functions using the and or uh, functions. Okay. So the most important part of the uh, all uh, logical functions is the logical test. Okay. Um, so I uh, will you now that you have this workbook, I would encourage you to go and test the all and none. The other important thing for if you can check if um, also in the in your logical test you can check if something is contained. Yeah. You're, for example, uh, what you are being asked for is that uh, all yogurts attract a shipping cost uh, of five percent of the sales. Okay. So the question is. You need to create a logical test that checks whether the product is a yogurt. So the only way that you can do that is uh, um, you check if the product contains. Now, now what 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 you are going to use is check if the product contains the name yogurt. If you if you look at uh, what we started with, sorry, I'm moving back and forth. These two. Are the only um, operators that can be able to check the content of a cell. The information functions, and then this only checks if it is empty. But the information functions can be able to do more in checking the, uh, the content of a cell. So, what we are being required to do, and I think this will be our last example, is um, check if the content of this cell contains the name yogurt because that's how you know what is a yogurt and what is not a yogurt okay so and then if you if you are able to do that then you can be able to uh, create um uh the uh, the logical test so one way of checking if something is is contained or not is using the uh the find function so this is a bit complex so i'll go slowly so uh, no, actually the search function. You can use the find function, but I love the search function because it's not case sensitive. So search, what are we looking for? We are looking for um, the word yogurt. yogurt. Within what text? Within this text. So that's the first thing that we need to check. And then what, what we get is uh, the anella or a number. Anella means that uh, it didn't, that word was not found in your text string. The number means that um, it, it gives you the position of the start position of that word because for vanilla if you count well you can see is the nine what is nine nine is the position where the name yogurt starts so it's one two three four five six seven eight because of the space and then nine okay so now that you have this how do we create this how do we convert this into a logical test because remember what we said our logical test has to be true or false so we use um, the information function called is number because we know every time there's a number that is true every time there's an error that is false so if we say is number all the places where we had errors is going to be false all the places where we had numbers is going to be true okay now we are able to create our logical test and with our logical test uh, created we can be able to use it inside the if function so we come and say if if the logical test we have already done our logical test so what do we need to do if it is true 
we are told uh, the shipping cost needs to be 5% of the sales. You just come and say five uh, sales times 5%. If it is not true, then it's sales times 2%. And um, let me actually make it easy so that you can be able to see. Let, let's do 10%. I think it's easy to observe that. As you can see, every place where you have the uh, product containing the word yogurt, the shipping cost now is just 10% of the sales. And then every other place is uh, 2%. So the most important part of um, and this is where most of the Excel uh, users tend to um, find it hard because they tend to skip this part. The most important part of any function in Excel, I can dare say that is the logical test. If you can be able to create a logical test or know who, how, um, uh, how, how to get a true and false based on all the tests that you are getting, then you can be able to apply that logical test on the filter function then what do you do if it is false, what you what do you do? Okay, so you can be able to, uh, now that you have this workbook again, try to do this. Uh, the next one is uh, if anything that was shipped by air, and you can see there are so many airlines, airways and all that. How do you check if the ship mode was air? If the ship mode was air, then you mark up the price by 3%. So what you need to do is you need to check the ship mode does it contain the word air? And then you can be able to do your markup and do all the, the other things. So the whole idea is to use the search function so that you can be able to differentiate uh, the content that contains what you are looking for. And then use the S number for it to convert that into a true or a false. So this workbook contains um, all this, it goes to uh, the sum ifs and the count ifs. There's a very detailed uh, course, even how to work with dates using sum if and count if. Uh, for the lack of time, I can see my laptop is dying. I think I'll stop there and 